Hello everyone, welcome again to Spinistry Chat. I am your host, Kevin Lee. Uh, tonight we're going over some of the basics around our Knob Hills Beaver Fever mountain bike race on Saturday. We'll go over the basic course layout as well as the, the parking area and staging setups and how that's going to work. I know folks have some questions about that. And we'll give the surface overview of it tonight so people have a general idea and we'll be sending out very specific details and instructions throughout the week so everything does go smoothly uh, first off actually let's change this to a different overview let's see what the different ones give us here there we go uh, first off we'll do what the, we'll outline what the race loop is going to be it's basically an 11 mile lap it's not the full knob hills route uh, we are cutting off we're turning around prior to what they call the cross timbers trailhead the equestrian area the way we have it routed there should be zero overlap or interaction with equestrians we will be starting uh, this the starting area and staging area and everything like that We'll be at the 377 trailhead, but that's not where we'll be parking. So do not plan to park at the 377 trailhead. There's definitely not enough parking there for everyone. We'll show you how that's going to work in a moment. Uh, but starting from there, each lap will be, like I said, a total 11-mile lap. Follow, Just follow the trail. We will have it marked to the turnaround point. And let's see if we can do a little bit of a satellite overview here. And I'll zoom it in. And we'll give it a minute here. Sometimes things glitch out when we zoom in on these satellites. Uh, but, and this is kind of an out of date aerial view. The new trail does go off this way and winds around. And there's an old trail cutoff that picks up the return leg. And we're utilizing that cutoff maybe 100 feet to take uh, the outbound trail to shortcut to the coming back trail at uh, about mile 5.8. So about, you know, really close to the midpoint. That will be our turnaround point. And we'll go back to the overview map, zoom out. And then it's just the normal Knob Hills Trail uh, all the way back to the 377 trailhead. So that's your race loop right there. Uh, we have one lap races, two lap races, three lap races, and I believe six lap races. We'll go over all of those uh, different races in a moment here. Now let's talk about the parking and how that's going to work. Uh, Lena Pope Home has been gracious enough to give us access to their McFadden Ranch property for our parking and staging area. Uh, this is the old youth home. Uh, it's, it's not active currently. It is a vacant property, but let's do the satellite overview. I think that shows you there we have plenty of parking available to us. And basically, everyone's going to park down here, and it will be required to park down here. Um, we'll, there's kind of a slight uh, caveat to that. We'll go over in a few moments for the juniors. But all the parking is down here, and then the expectation is to pedal to the trailhead and the staging area down the roads. And it's a really, the way we have it laid out, it's a really safe pedal. You're going to go out to this Haynes Road, which there's almost zero traffic on it, to Dunham Road. Again, almost zero traffic on this. And it's not named, but it is marked here. There's a left off Dunham Road that is a trail access road. And then you'll come onto the trail here and pedal the last, bear with me, what's the 1.61, about a quarter of a mile to the trailhead. It's less than two miles of pedal altogether. 
It's an excellent opportunity to get a little bit of a warm up in and we'll stage everybody. We'll go ahead and zoom in here. And do the aerial overview. So this is the main 377 trailhead. There's not enough parking here for everybody that's going to be racing and we're not able to close the trail. So regular trail users will be coming and, and going and so forth. It's really important for everybody to park at the Lena Pope home. Uh, that's where the restrooms are going to be. So that's really important. If you need to use the restroom before you race, you'll go there. Here, here's a couple of exceptions. Uh, junior racers, if parents are not comfortable with the junior racers doing that two mile pedal or the pedal, uh, parents aren't able to accompany them, uh, parents can drop off juniors at the 377 trailhead here. Also, six lap racers, the expectation is that you'll drop off your nutrition and hydration supplies here uh, before you go park. Of course, you guys are starting off early in the morning. Sweet. Of course, you guys are starting off early in the morning, so you, you can swing by and drop your stuff off and then go park at that point. Uh, we're going to have everybody... This worked really well at North Shore with our abbreviated start with uh, when we push things back a little bit because of the moisture overnight. Uh, we're going to do essentially the same format for this one. So uh, our early races, the, the longer, basically the longer distance races, uh, we'll ev have everybody at 377 Trailhead at the same time. We'll do the racers meeting for all of the groups at the same time and then we'll send off each group uh, just shortly after one another and let's kind of walk through what that is so right now the the times show the six lap marathon at 8 30 three lap at 8 8 ignore these start times what we're going to do is we're going to have everybody be there for an 8 a.m racers meeting that means check-in will open about 7 15 be able to get your numbers and everything starting then at eight o'clock we'll have the racers meeting you'll want to already have your number and numbers mounted and everything like that and we'll send out probably the three lap open elite racers two lap uh fastest racers the single speed then we'll send out the six lap marathon and so forth and so on we'll have all of these eight o'clock racer groups out by 8 30 is is the general idea. It'll probably be closer to 8.15 or 8.20 actually. Maybe a minute or two of spacing between each group. And uh, almost all of these races will be done except for maybe the three lap open and the uh, beginner racers and junior racers will be expected to show up um, we're going to say 10.15 for their racers meeting. So there may be a little bit of overlap on that last quarter mile as beginner racers are pedaling into the staging area and three lap racers are finishing. Uh, but most of the, th the faster three lap racers should be already done by that point. And again, the junior racers can do that same pedal over. And uh, so we'll do the one lap beginner racers and the junior racers where your racers meeting is at 10.15. And then we'll start sending out the different groups uh, from that point on, you know, a minute or two separating each. The juniors will be the last group to go out. And all of the multi-lap racers should be done by the time the juniors go out. And we'll send out a sweep rider after the junior racers as well to make sure all of our one-lap riders are done. Uh, at the staging area there, that's where we'll do awards and everything like that. And then when you finish at the end of the day, uh, basically, and I don't have it marked on the map here, what you'll do is follow the trail out, and we'll have signage that clearly indicates this. And the trail down here comes back to this roadway, and then you just go back up and out to your parking area that way. That's the quickie overview of how it's going to work. We'll send out very, very specific details written out, and we'll talk about it some more later this week. We just wanted to give the quick overview of the general concept now.
I'm sure folks will have some questions. I'm sure some folks will poo-poo the idea, but we think it's actually going to be a really fun way to do it. Get to get to stage and race at the 377 trailhead. Start at the beginning of the trail. Uh, have plenty of parking and an and uh, actually a, a unique little way to get into the trail that I think some folks are going to enjoy seeing something new that way. Thanks for sticking with us through this one. We'll get some more information out throughout the rest of the week. See y'all Saturday at Knob Hills Beaver Fever.